metal is big business in St. Bernard Parish as it continues to rebuild 10 years post Katrina. I'm Scott Walker and I'm Camille Whitworth. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have been paid to the parish for nothing more than the collection of the sale of scrap metal. But now local prosecutors are investigating one company, parish employees and the entire contract process. Investigative reporter Travers Mack live at six now with what the parish is doing about this. Well, right? scrap metal yards just look like junkyards for most people, but much of the scrap metal that's collected by the parish and sold means big money. It means that the parish can fix streets, cut grass and add to a better quality of life. But a new investigative audit that we've obtained questions why revenue collections steadily dropped off when one contractor had the deal and now an investigation is underway. Last month we spotted Tony Mole Jr. at the scrapyard his father owns and shares their family name, Mole Disposal. He shut us out and didn't want to answer our questions about the company's scrap collections. But an investigative audit by the Louisiana Legislative Auditor paints an ugly picture of the scrap collection business in St. Bernard while Mole Disposal had the contract. We can confirm the district attorney's office is investigating the matter. A probe newly elected parish president Guy McGinnis supports. We are in fully cooperating with, with this investigation and, uh, and we're just um, waiting it out. One of the hardest hit areas by Hurricane Katrina was St. Bernard. Trash pickup and disposal was, and for the most part still is, a profitable business in that parish. Here's how it works. Residents living there take their scrap metal to two sites in St. Bernard and dump it off. The parish then hauls it to a scrap yard where it's sold, with that money going back into parish coffers. Records show that from 2010 through 2015, St. Bernard collected more than $337,000 in revenue from scrap metal, or just under $70,000 a year. Money McGinnis says is desperately needed. We're having budget discussions as we speak um, and, and trying to scrub our budget as much as we can. So sure, all, all, every dollar we need in St. Bernard Parish. But records show that when St. Bernard Parish began selling its scrap metal to Mole Disposal in late 2012, revenue to the parish steadily declined over the next few years. For example, in 2012, two other scrap metal companies who the parish sold to paid St. Bernard government over $70,000. And that was only for 10 months worth of work that year. Mole took over the deal in late 2012. One year later in 2013, Mole only paid St. Bernard Parish about $26,000, almost $50,000 less than the previous year. And in 2014, things got even worse for the parish. Parish leaders only received $3,500 from Mole, a more than 95% reduction in revenue from when that company took over just two years prior. Then in 2015, the deal appears to have hit rock bottom. St. Bernard received no money at all from Mole for the first three months of the year. After parish auditors reached out to the company, checks for just over $500 and $200 were issued, but it wasn't enough. By May, the parish stopped selling its scrap metal to Mole and moved on. And Perry Nakosha, the district attorney in St. Bernard, moved in, telling us a criminal investigation is underway. The legislative auditor's report also says Mole may have broken state laws the entire time it did parish work. Last year, auditors interviewed truck drivers who picked up and hauled scrap metal to Mole disposal. The report says, all three drivers stated that Mole Disposal did not weigh the scrap metal they dropped off and did not provide any receipts. State law requires every operator shall either keep a register and file reports or electronically maintain data and be capable of readily providing reports that give a full description of all such material purchased, including the weight of the material. We take this report very seriously as an administration. And it appears Mole Disposal isn't the only target. Jared George's name is mentioned repeatedly. A former sheriff's deputy, George's, ran the parish road department for now indicted former parish president Dave Peralta. That government agency, the road department, is responsible for hauling scrap metal from the parish collection sites to the scrap metal dealer. Like his former boss, 
Georges was indicted last April on five counts. The charges range from theft to perjury to malfeasance, and those alleged crimes are unrelated to this matter. We reached out to Georges. His lawyer told us, my client, Jared Georges, did nothing wrong and is not a target of any investigation related to scrap sales. As there appears to be some sort of investigation of others, it would not be appropriate for him to comment further. Tony Mollier Jr. didn't comment at all when we went looking for answers. Former Parish President Dave Peralta's legal troubles are separate from this latest in investigation, and he tells us he's the one who actually alerted investigators to the possibility of misconduct involving his appointee and the disposal company. We should also note no charges have been filed against any of those parties. Current Parish President Guy McGinnis says his administration is happy with the two contractors used by the parish now for scrap metal and will continue to use them. Well, Travers, tell us this. Is there any timeline for the DA's investigation into this? Not known. Obviously, they play things very close to the vest, but we are told sooner rather than later. All right. Well, we know you'll keep us posted on that. Thank you.